So I'm leaving the oral surgeon's office and I have to come back for a more extensive surgery. It's not a root canal. It's something a little bit more detailed um, and their recovery is not gonna be fun. So I'll have that in about two weeks. So now we get to go home. 122 degrees. Oi. That's what I would do it. <laughs> Just for myself, that's what I would do as an intro, not not for you. Because it's short and it's different. But my intro has to it's kinda like a slideshow. It's like a slideshow. Yeah. Like a family vlog. Yes. Uh, I yeah. The intro is a show vlog. about my life. <laughs> <laughs> the show about your life. And then there was Trevor. <laughs> Oh, you're so funny. And the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And then Trevor. Yeah, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. I love you. All right, have fun. I like that, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, everybody, Trevor has just finished playing my intro and exit music for my YouTube video, and he is awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for doing that for me. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so, oh, this, I, my piano at home was so out of tune, it sounded honky-tonk. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So like it, it's going to need more than one tuning to get it back to where it needs to be. So I figured we would come and use the grand piano in a room that had better acoustics and things like that. So thank you so much for all your hard work. I love you. We wish you well at school. Make us proud. <laughs> Get him, Lauren. <laughs> Is his eyes closed? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I was like, you know what's so Oh, oh, both of your eyes were supposed to be closed. Okay, all right. Now, cl you close your eyes and I'll make sure both of you guys don't cheat, okay? okay? All right, close your eyes. Wait, turn your back to me. It's dual mode. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Amla, get out of the way.
Pumpkin. That's that's Felix. You guys need to do that, um, put water in your cheeks and slap each other with a paper towel. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a, uh, a, a, a tortilla, tortilla shell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it rained. <laughs> and my windshield wipers are freaking Oreo out. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Oreo, what's wrong? Oreo, what's wrong? Oh, are they gonna attack you? All oh, those mean windshield wipers. Oh my goodness. Honey, they're gone. <laughs> He's protecting you from those mean windshield wipers, Amelie. Can you ask for a better guard dog? No. <laughs> what a nerd. Let's get you to school. Okay, Oreo, going to school with Amelie. All calm. I'm going to turn on my windshield wipers. <laughs> He's scared. Oh, is he scared now? He was barking at him before. <laughs> I think he's not interested anymore. <laughs> okay, so I haven't really filmed very much this last week, and I'll tell you why. The last time you saw me leaving the dentist's office, and I didn't have a root canal. Apparently, an old root canal um, got reinfected somehow. I guess the bottom of your root isn't a uh, just like a channel. At the very bottom, it's spiders. And they can't get the root canal all the way into all those little spiders. And so it got infected. And so they had to cut open my gum, fillet that open, and then cut the bottom of my tooth off from inside so I didn't lose that tooth. So when I left the, uh, the oral surgeon's office, my cheek was all swollen and tender and you know icky and everything like that. And it is still painful. I still have sutures going through my gum um, and wrapped around my teeth. And my entire left side of my jaw is just super sore. Um, and I, I have two teeth that feels like they're coming loose. And so we're, we're going to have to address that, but I'm going back today to get my sutures removed. So, um, got the kids off to school and I'm headed out. It rained a massive monsoon. Um, thunder woke me up at like 5:30 this morning. Um, we ran out to the pastures and got all of the horses and got them back in their stalls and things like that. Um, like really quick, quick, but, um, yeah, so they got dry, but, uh, we have a mess in the barn to clean up for sure. So anyway, I will give you an update when I'm done. I am so thankful. I am so, so very thankful for good medical staff. They were able to work me in like two hours before my actual appointment. And it turns out that the suture line has gotten infected. Um, there was some food that was stuck in there. And so I'm back on antibiotics. So heading home and hopefully that'll get taken care of because I am I am so done being in pain for sure. Okay, so I'm at Home Depot and unfortunately I'm not with Tater. She has gotten a little bit old um, and deaf and her recall is not near as fast as it needs to be um, to be in public, especially off leash. And so Tater has been retired from Home Depot, which is really, really sad because it's like her favorite place to go. So anyway, so I am going to start working on the hallway 
um, today I have to remix some paint for the trim just because it's it's just easier if I get it mixed off their machine and then um, I have some texture touch up to do um, and taping off and everything like that Jonathan is working on the rest of the trim today as well as my car there's something going on with my car so um, yeah so we're just kind of doing the smaller jobs because both of us are just really tired from the week um, and we can't really tackle a big job but today he was just saying how much he wanted a master bathroom so I think that might be coming in our soon future but anyway so let's go to Home Depot okay paint department here we come okay so if you guys are ever here I recommend these paint brushes because they're angled. Do you see this angle right here? And they're really short. They fit in the palm of your hand and they're so easy to maneuver when you're cutting in. Love, 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 love these. Let's go get some. Okay, paint. so this is Garrick. Um, I just need this remixed for a second. And then there's some paint I had um, on the computer. I need a gallon of that. If you guys can, which I love about Home Depot because they can, they, you give them their phone number and whatever paint you get, um, they keep a record of it in the, in the computer. So you don't have to search for that color anymore, which yeah. is cool. So, um, all right, let me get you my phone number. So it should be like a light blue color. Hmm. Yeah. No, those are all my son's bedroom. It's like a light blue color. Did you have a number? I don't believe so. Okay. Um, okay, chasing down some texture for the drywall. Down yonder. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Which one? Which one? Not sure it really matters, but all right. So I guess I have to go home and take a section off of my wall so they can color match it because apparently they didn't put my phone number in when I bought the blue paint for the walls. Um, it's not really supposed to be blue. It's supposed to be like off gray, but um, I might change it. But for right now, I'm going to have it match because I don't want to repaint the rest of my house. So guys got it it's always that you have to make more than one trip to home depot i don't know why that is but it is so let's go home i have my wall piece so let's go get a match right yeah. this is what i got there's two pieces okay. that's the best i can do <laughs> it is i always get bare okay the sheen is going to be whatever. Yeah, whatever that is. Okay. And a gallon? A gallon, yes, please. I hope it's big enough. Yeah, no, it'll be big <laughs> And I should probably grab the swatch off the wall and put it in my, like, home improvement file so that I know what it is, too. Yeah, exactly. I can, when I'm done matching this, I can save it to your phone number. Okay. After I match it. Okay, so this is the blue that I was trying to match. This was my little sample. And this is the closest that I've been able to come. I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty spot on. But the part that I have to repair is right down here. Do you see where the, the texture is coming off of the wall? I have to fix that and patch it and then retexture it. Um, I have a little bit more going on down here. And then I have to paint that. And so um, I've already cut in from when I had the color before, but I don't know if you remember just way back when there was a bunch of sheetrock and everything like that staged right here um, for around the house and I couldn't access this wall. I couldn't paint it. Um, and so that's what I get to do today. So the before. Okay, so I'm on my way to uh, my last follow-up doctor's appointment with my orthopedic surgeon uh, for my knee. So hopefully that will go well. Um, and I have a few things to finish up at home. My mom's coming into town on Friday. So I've got a lot of stuff to do, but I wanted to show you something that was kind of weird. 
so I'm driving. But my speedometer says that I'm not. Weird. All sorts of lights going on. I need to get gas and everything. So yesterday, Jonathan um, replaced my rotor in my tire, um, in my front passenger side tire. And I think he might have forgotten to hook something up. <laughs> because I... I know I'm going somewhere, but my speedometer says that I'm not. So anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. 